Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be doing a flip through of my Agenda 52 um, personal planner. So before I begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be great. I appreciate it. So let's start with the cover or the planner itself is the Agenda 52, so it's got all these pretty colors. I think it's so gorgeous. Like, these are the colors I like. Like, the muted, not-so-bright colors, like this thing here is so bright. And on top here, I made a little clip for my... Um, I haven't even decorated it, to be honest with you. There's no pockets in this one for some reason. Uh, let me take this off. This is a binder clip, black and white polka dot. It is silver, but that's okay. Um, and I have these little pom-pom charms. It's attached to the key ring and a lobster. All I do for that is because I want it to like be a dangle, and I don't want it to hang on the bottom. You see this here where you open up your planner? That's exactly where I attach it to. So I put this on the back side, and then this is the front side. And all I do is attach it right there. How easy is that? And you can have another one hanging from here because you have this open. It doesn't bother anything because it's staying like in its place. Even in my purse, it's not going to bother anything, and it hangs on. How cute is that? So like if you're holding it, it's on the side or in the back, wherever it wants to lay. And I don't really care. It's just cute because it's like kind of like the colors. You have the blue, you have another blue, you have pinks, you have maroonish, another pink, a green, whatever. Just some cute ones. So again, I don't have anything here. It's not a spacious pocket to begin with so it does match the front but again it's not a spacious pocket and I really don't need anything here I don't really decorate my planner to where I'm gonna need something bring this back so you can see a little bit more so I just have some coffee time you know sticky notes from Dollar Tree and it's on a recollections uh, acetate not acetate but like the hard ones divider. It says make great things happen. It's backwards because it's on actually this side. So that's why I'm reading it backwards. Then I get these from our daily bread and I just hole punch them and put them in here. Look how cute that is. And if you look in the back, it still shows it. And then I don't really, if I didn't need these, I'd have the background. So I just use that for that. I don't know what's in here to be honest with you. I have another, believe the very best, that's, I think this is the third divider. Yeah, this is the third divider, because if you look, this one's on top, there's a middle piece, and then there's this one. So here I have Tomorrow is a New Day, and then Hello Gorgeous, just some little, I think these are Heidi Swap cards. And back here I just have, I think, One Ton and a Million. Stickers from my uh, Kate Spade. Not Kate Spade. Kiki K. So these are like your tab stickers. So I have that page and then I have that page. They're already pre-punched so you didn't have to punch them. My morning routine is drink water, take your vitamins, brush your teeth, wash your face, get ready and dress. I found this online. Check planner, eat healthy prefix, start laundry, work on most important task. It's supposed to say but I cut it off. And then you can just add more. Here is another divider from the Happy Planner. So it's calendars. This I just put on today I found in my stash. And it's just a coffee cup. And it is those cardstock ones. This I just put today from Agenda 52. I had the paper pack with the gemstones and all that. Stickers and all that. So I double side tape it. And I put the lips on there in the back. Look how weird it looks bounced off of there. Yeah, I thought it was cute, like, as a background. 
And then here you just put your name. I didn't do it. Lazy. And then you got your 2021. I took out January, February, March. And I took out, I think, August through December. So only thing in here is April, May, June, and I think July. Yeah. So that's all that's in here. So here is April. I am not done like working on this. So there's still going to be a lot more work done. I just literally found the planner today in my stash. Technically in my purse. In one of my purses. Um, so again, like I just found it. So I only have that appointment in here. But I still have to fill this in. And I'm not going to do a plan with me with it. Because it's too small. It's already decked out, you know, thanks to Agenda 52 wanting to deck out our planners. But yeah, so that, I just leave it as is. I'll just write the appointments in. Paydays, things like that. This is an on-the-go planners. On-the-go. On-the-go. You know what I mean. So here is um, Monday the 29th of March through April the 4th. So as you can see, I didn't fill out much of this, so I will go in and put Easter stickers. I will sticker some of this up, and then, you know, whatever. Again, I just found it. So the day I was playing with it, I think I did this week and the next, did I do the next week? Fourth, and no. So I just did this week, and that was it. And then I just found it today, so I did go ahead and decorate it. I already did the video. This is already up on my channel. Here is the next one. This is the 5th through the 11th. I'll go in, put my appointments. I'll go in and put all my information. I have everything written down in my journals. And then here is the 12th through the 18th. I kind of liked it, but not too much. I prefer the way this looked over this it looks kind of cohesive but then when we get to the 19th to the 20th is not the 20th the 19th to the 20th 19th to the 25th I like this so I already did my plans here my plans there I just gotta finish uh, where's that I just gotta finish this side and this is my week divider. It lets me know which week I'm on. A little take note that I showed you in the video when I filmed this. That I was going to use this sheet. And then my meal planner. I only wrote down for today. So I'm going to go back and write down the rest. And I just have it on the bottom. Meals. And then again, you can move this over to the following week. And then you'll have, again, a meal planner. And if you need grocery list, you just write it down. And then this is what the 21st and through the 25th looks like. Well, these three days. I love the way the floral stickers came from CraftSmart. How it tied in together. So I went ahead and did it again. This is the CraftSmart. So this is the 26th through May 2nd. So then... I'll go in later on and fill this in later on tomorrow. I'm at work all day, so I will be having a lot of time to fill stuff in. Because I think I get a 45-minute break. I'm from 8 in the morning to 8 at night. I am so, going to be so drained. So yeah, so I'll fill this in. And then overall rating, I'll probably rate it May. And then here I'll go in and fill it in. Any important information that I know of, like my appointments. Again, here... I won't film, but I will fill in my appointments because I have one on, how in the world? Oh no, May 7th I have an appointment and May 4th. So I will have to let her know May 4th and the 7th I will not be there. Um, so that's that. And then this is what the weekly looks like without any stickers. All the colors stay the same. Which is fine. I mean, I really don't like that. But as long as you find a color scheme to work with it, like I did with the floral, then you're all pretty much okay. 
And so that is May. And then here is June. I'm just going to show you the divider. Work your magic. And here is July. Hello sunshine. And again, you have your reflection page at the end of the month. And then here's that. I have little sticky notes that I have the happy planner tab in. But if you look, these holes match up these holes. So if you put one here, one here, wait, one here and one here. So the top and the middle match up. So it works out perfect because then you could put sticky notes in here. This was from Joann's. This is so old. It's made from retail. Was it Joann's or this could be from Target Dollar Spot because it's made for retail. So here's another divider that I stuck the little coffee. This is the last two I had, so I stuck that one on there and the one in the beginning. And then this will be something I don't know yet. So here's another divider. The best dreams happen when you're awake. These are all recollection dividers. And then acetate, which I need to buy some more acetate. I love that one. It's super cute. And then my faith section is going to be next, which is this one. But I wanted to show you how it looks backed up. Look how cute that looks behind it. So here's my faith section. This is my Kate Spade ruler. Um, my first section I want is his promises. The second is his praise. The third is Bible study. The fourth is prayers. And fifth is confessions. And then I wrote up to 12, but I don't know if I have all 12. This is just the list pad that was cut down and put in here. So I have all those pages in here. And that's what it looks like in the back. To do's, I have not did anything to yet. Recollections as well, and it's front and back. Make great things happen is from recollections again with a binder clip. I have it just uh, to me, it just like indicates a section with the binder clip. I don't know. And then this is my to buy, so I have my first one as lists top tab. To buy, I need copy paper and adhesive tape. I have the Dollar Tree one, but I do want to get the one that you roll. So, like, the little tape runner type thing. So, that's that one. And, again, it's on that paper, the list pad paper. So, I have a couple sheets in there. And then I have another recollections, of course. And then some more to-dos, but these are going to be my goals for the month. And then I'm going to put this sheet into the front of where the month is. So April's almost gone, so that'll start May's goals. And then again, front and back. So as many goals as you need, or you could break down your goals at the end. So depending. So again, these are all recollections. The next set is the graph paper. Again, recollections, front and back. And then after that is the line paper, which I did my first pen test today with the new pens from uh, Five Below. So that is this one. So my pen test. Recollection paper. Very good paper. Let me tell you, that pen did not bleed through. And that is all that. The personal information behind this, I'm going to like kind of like black out. You might be able to see it, but that's my father's cemetery. So I'll just cover that up as much as I can. Um, again, recollections paper. The next one, I don't remember where I got this divider from, but it's super cute. Look at how cute that is. So this is the Agenda 52 meal planner paper. And I have that in here. And then I have another list sheet in here. I don't know why in the back. And then after that, I have my, um, oh, my pies, uh, money envelopes. She made these to me and sent them to me. That was nice of her. So I have a savings one. 
that I have to fill up and it's like a side opening really good quality groceries I have like a couple singles in here two singles in here cart maintenance and then household and then pet supplies and then after that I just leave this divider in here so that nothing catches onto here and then I have this pocket what if you know anything about the agenda 52 they're usually loose and the carpe diems are really loose but this one seems a little tight and then I have a pen from Dollar Tree which is the Jot ballpoint and the point seven, but that's the, the tip and oh my god is this right nice so I just leave that in here as well if it focuses there you go and then it's the John ballpoint 07 and it writes really nice and I love black ink I mean eventually I want to start using different colors because I have so many colors just to use them but yeah that's my flip through if you like this video give it a big thumbs up leave a comment share the video that'd be greatly appreciated as always thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video have a good one bye bye